except Blade and Twilight from Alonsus Fowl at 4941. The blade was taken somewhere in northwestern Tirisfall. Travel west to Tirisfall to coordinates 1753. If you've already completed a different artifact chain, Alonsus will be located at 5148 in the Netherlight Temple. Find the three clues at the Twilight Camp. The third clue will be located under a large tent at 1455. The second clue can be found under a small tent at 1355. The first clue will be located in a wagon underneath the tent at 1357. After collecting all three clues, enter the lake and proceed northeast to 3712. Follow the underwater passage to the vestibule of the Silver Hand toward 3531. Of an intruder. Excellent. I was expecting him, but I don't think you were. What? You traitor! Assist Shadow Lord Slighthammer in defeating the Twilight Mobs. Moira said he'd be coming. I'm Slaghammer, paying my family's debt by hanging out with these buggers. <laughs> Let me take down this barrier. The Shadow Deacon's already below starting his ritual. To get there, we'll need to do a bit of work. If you have any questions, let me know. But we best hurry. After Slaghammer takes down the barrier, enter the Tomb of Tear beyond. Suppressing Tears Wards, so the dick Defeat the four Twilight Ritualists around the room, which are targeting the wards. Start by dispelling the wards on the Ritualists. After each Ritualist dies, a group of Flesh Spawn will pop up from where the ward is located.
A trap! <sighs> Destroy that creature before it kills or... Defeat the amassing darkness located in the center of the room. It must be defeated before the Armageddon spell cast is finished. There we go. The path to the prison should be open. Well, if it ain't me old friend. We'd be doing the world a favor, written into this, buddy. Defeat Borgoth. Continue south through the Dark Walk to 3878. Use mess to spell on the Void Tendrils or just kill them. Or just fight through. But it wouldn't get too close. Follow the passage northeast to forty seven seventy five. The blade is right. I am unstoppable. Once Sakaj lives again, I will hold dominion over this world. Our old leaders chose to work with pawns. I choose the real power! Enter the grave prison of Zakaj just ahead and defeat the Faceless Guardian and Faceless Corruptor. This is no good. I can hear more coming from above. Defend me, Blade! You said this would work! Move out of the way of Shadow Crash, cast by the Faceless Guardian. Continue across the bridge and defeat Twilight Deacon Farthing. to stop me. With this weapon, I can do anything. ANYTHING! You cannot trust your own mind! Destroy the shadow images. See how I bend your mind to my will. Dispel or kill the void tendrils. You protecting me weak and pitiful the twilight father did not dare wield me for he knew the price of failure give me another chance no no you on the other hand yes i foresee us doing great things together Take hold of my haft and I will aid you, for now. Collect Zalatath to take possession of your artifact weapon. Yes, we are eager to feast on the fallen titan's minions. But first, Zakash. 
The cultists may try to stir him again, or he could awaken on his own. We must consume his essence to ensure he is gone forever. You know this must be done. Use the Dark Drain Extra Action button on Zakaj to consume his essence. Cultists, they run off! <laughs> you should get back to foul. I'll use this Twilight Portal Stone for you. Slighthammer will drop a Twilight Portal for you. Click on it to be brought back to Dalaran. Keep an eye on that blade, though. No telling was something that old be capable of. Travel northwest to coordinates 4621. If you've already completed a different artifact chain, Moira will be located at 5146 in the Netherlight Temple. Look! Our hero has returned! This champion shows talent! Well done indeed! Turn on the quest to Moira. Ironforge has need of our sorcery, as well as our strength. With that, we are in agreement. Now, speak with Velen. He has an interesting matter to discuss with you. <laughs> <laughs> 